Good morning and thank you for joining me for morning prayer on Tuesday the 21st of April. I'm Father Peter Tinney. Today is also the feast of Anselm of Canterbury. We will be using the Tuesday morning office on page 396 of a prayer book for Australia. The psalm this morning is Psalm 121 on page 360 and the reading is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verses 11 to 20. Christ is risen, alleluia. He is risen indeed, alleluia. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, A Song of God's Mercy. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us, in Christ Jesus. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 121 on page 360. I lift up my eyes to the hills, but where shall I find help? My help comes from the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to stumble, and he who watches over you will not sleep. Be sure he who has charge of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is your keeper. The Lord is your defence upon your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor shall the moon by night. The Lord will defend you from all evil. It is he who will guard your life. The Lord will defend your going out and your coming in from this time forward for evermore. Let us pray. Lord our God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love and to confirm us in holiness, now and for ever. Amen. The reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 28. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests everything that had happened. After the priests had assembled with the elders, they devised a plan to give a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You must say, His disciples came by night and stole him away while, you, while we were asleep. If this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story is still told among the Jews to this day. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When he saw him, when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. And we now say the canticle, the song of the blessed from the Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life of all who put their trust in him. Raise us, we pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may ever seek the things which are above, where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, who gave to your servant Anselm special gifts of grace to understand and teach the truth in Christ Jesus, grant that enlightened by his teaching, we may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Help us, good Lord, to find and create a place of silence, a place to give you our thoughts and concerns into your loving care, and to listen for your guidance and wisdom to help us live authentic lives of faith and service. We pray for the world, for the church and those in need. Father, we pray for communities around the world confronted with the enormous impacts of coronavirus for individuals and families living with the virus, those who've lost family members, for communities living in fear or in ignorance. We ask your blessing on doctors, nurses, and medical and ambulance staff providing care and support to those affected. Bring calm and patience to those who are feeling trapped and to those who are trapped on ships, bring intervention and support. We pray for Peter, our Bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, Assistant Bishops, as they lead us through this challenging time. We pray for those in our communities who are preparing for Anzac Day in a different way this year. For those who are affected by adversely by the day, and for Defence Force personnel engaged in dangerous 
trying and challenging tasks at this time. We pray your blessing on the clergy and people of the parishes of Terrigal, the Camden Haven, the Entrance and Tootley Budgiewoy. We ask your blessing on hospital chaplains and the staff and volunteers at Newcastle, Hunter Region and Central Coast Hospitals and their patients. And we pray your blessing on the brothers of the Society of St Francis. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.